If you are a Web3 game developer, this is very good news, because I present you to the new Gaming Metaverse Hackathon, powered by Morales and Kronos. Starting on the 20th of August and with a big big prize pool of 100k. You will need to build the game using Morales and Kronos in order to compete for the main prize. Keep in mind that the registration deadline is on the 15th of August, so whenever you're ready, go here and register your team to save a spot. So I think now is a good time to explain what Kronos is for the ones who don't know. Kronos is a decentralized, open source and energy efficient public blockchain with high speed and low transaction fees. It is EVM compatible and it's powered by Ethermint and also built with the Cosmos SDK which supports the Inter Blockchain Communication Protocol, IBC. It is designed to support the creator economy with Web3 applications such as DeFi and GameFi and ultimately serving as the foundational infrastructure for an open metaverse. In February 18th, 2021, Crypto.org coin named Crow is rebranded to Kronos. In November 8th, Kronos mainnet chain is launched as beta. In three months from launch, more or less February 2022, we have more than 12 million transactions, more than 350 unique active wallet addresses, and around 2 billion USD TBL in DeFi protocols. The use of Kronos has not stopped growing, even the market conditions, and we are now close to 1 million unique addresses. As an open source layer 1 blockchain, Kronos aims to massively scale the Web3 user community by providing builders with the ability to instantly port apps and crypto assets from other blockchains while benefiting from low transaction fees, high throughput, and fast transaction finality. Kronos is built on Ethermint which supports rapid porting of apps and smart contracts from Ethereum and other EVM compatible chains. Kronos aims to deliver faster, cheaper and greener transactions and smart contract execution than proof of work chains. That's why it focuses on scalability. The Inter Blockchain Communications Protocol, IBC, enables interoperability and bridging to other IBC enabled chains such as Cosmos Hub, Osmosis, etc. Kronos is utilizing proof of authority as a more streamlined and scalable consensus mechanism while still maintaining security through a range of experienced and carefully vetted validators. It is open source, so the community is welcomed to proactively review and provide suggestions to strengthen the network. Kronos is one of the very few blockchains that exist at the intersection of the Ethereum virtual machine EVM and the Cosmos ecosystem. As said before, it is an EVM compatible chain built on the Cosmos SDK, allowing the chain to exist in the intersection of the Cosmos and Ethereum ecosystems while enjoying benefits from both systems. I'd like to emphasize the Inter Blockchain Communication Protocol, IBC, that allows Kronos to communicate with other Cosmos SDK based blockchains that have IBC enabled. You can think of it as a cross-chain communication protocol that has many possibilities, including asset transfer and cross-chain execution. In terms of sustainability, proof-of-stake and proof-of-authority networks are generally less energy-intensive than proof-of-work networks. Furthermore, Kronos nodes can be hosted with ARM chips. Compared to a standard Intel chips, this can reduce the carbon footprint of hosting a node around more than 80%. If we also compare the CO2 emissions per transaction with Bitcoin and Ethereum, Kronos is by far more sustainable. Here we have the roadmap and we can see that more dApps, tools and wallets are coming this year. But I think the main focus is set on increasing connectivity and interoperability. Upcoming IBC interoperability models through the Cosmos SDK will bring new exciting functionalities as interchain accounts, which will allow an account on Kronos to securely control an account on another IBC compatible chain and to get it to send transactions on its behalf. Also relayer incentives. This model makes it possible for the operator of an IBC bridge relayer to charge end users flexibly which enables the economic viability of the bridge. 
also NFT standard which will support the transfer of NFTs between Kronos and other chains that support NFTs. And lastly, EVM packets over IBC will allow Kronos users to interact with proxies of smart contracts that live on another EVM compatible blockchains. So in conclusion, I think Kronos is doing all the right steps to become the foundational infrastructure for an open metaverse. And the best thing is that you can integrate Kronos to your project in a super simple way using Moralis, with Kronos being one of the multiple supported chains. You can start by going to moralis.io, click on login, sign up if you don't have an account, and log in. Click on create a new dApp here, select mainnet for example, and click on Kronos. Then click on proceed, select your region, and type a DAP name. In some seconds, you will have the DAP created. Then, if you click on settings, you will find some credentials here. If you were using our SDKs, you could authenticate to Kronos with these credentials right here. We're not going to do this in this video, but very soon there's going to be a new one showing how to do this in Unity. For now, Go back to moralis.io, click on register now, and register right here to join the hackathon. Also join our Discord community to know all the details about it and connect with other teams. We're really looking forward to see you there. Have a good one. Bye bye.